Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. Today we're going to be casting off your ribbing. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Yes, we're casting off ribbing today and this will work for any type of ribbing you have. It's a simple method and I just suggest it any time you are casting off 2x2 two two ribbing, 1x1 one one ribbing, 3x3 three three ribbing, um, any kind of ribbing that you have, it means that you have the stretchiness in the cast off as well as in the ribbing itself. I've used this technique for years and I'm really happy to show it to you in this video. It's going to be really helpful and you're going to get a sneak peek of what is coming up in the knitting kits because I'm using some of the knitting kit um, patterns to just show you how it works. Great, let's get to it. Go and have that sneak peek and uh, go and do your casting off. So you can see here, I've had to cast off ribbing on these diamond mitts and on these butterfly cuffs here, right at the top here, where the, we finish knitting is the ribbing. And that means that you need a ribbing cast off and that's just so that it stays stretchy it looks neat at the top and it's not so obvious that there's a cast off if you do a normal cast off where you're just knitting every stitch and you're casting off like that then it won't look quite so neat at the top so um that's what we're going to do here now and i have just knitted a little bit here in two by two ribbing what I'm going to do is knit the first two stitches. That's what the first part of the ribbing requires. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to knit one, knit two. Now, just like normal ribbing, I'm now going to switch this first stitch over the second one. And that is the first part of casting off. Now, in ribbing, we now have two purl stitches. So what we need to do is move the yarn from the back to the front and purl the next stitch then move the yarn to the back again so that we can do exactly the same thing we can cast off the next stitch move that first one over the second one now we've got one more purl stitch and if this was knit one purl one you'd now be doing a knit stitch but knit two purl two means i've got one more purl stitch yarn goes to the front again so i can purl it and then I've taken the yarn to the back and that first stitch goes over the second stitch. And what I'm going to do now is knit the next stitch. Yarn still sits at the back. Don't have to do anything with it if you're knitting. Yarn over, knit the next stitch and that first stitch over the second one. And again, yarn to the front. This is where you might forget. This is the thing you need to realise, you need to concentrate when you're casting off ribbing, is moving the yarn when you need to. So I'm going to purl that next stitch. Now the yarn goes to the back, first stitch over the second one. Yarn to the front again and purl and yarn first stitch over the second one. So you see, it doesn't take long and you realise that it's happening. Two more stitches to cast off. And there you are. So what we have here is a really good ribbed stitch. Just as much as the cast on, it's very happy to stretch all that way across. So that is your neat cast off and you are casting off with the ribbing with all of the stitches being the same, just as if you were knitting across it as normal. There you are. How to cast off with ribbing. 
Okay, you can now cast off your ribbing. You're ready to go and ready to finish what you've been knitting. Because casting off is always exciting. It means that you've done it. You've finished. Okay, so that's good going. You're all ready now. And if you want to get hold of those patterns, then do click on the link in the description. Get on the wait list for my email updates. I'm sharing a lot with you over on the email that I don't share anywhere else. Um, and the knitting kits. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit more about them here. Um, while for the moment, because of you know what, <laughs> um, we won't be able to post internationally, we will be able to post to a few places in Europe and mostly the UK. But there will be lots of things that we can get you if you're in other places in the world. We can get you patterns and we can send you a few things that will fit in envelopes as well. So do not worry, you're not excluded. But um, the knitting kits will be available internationally at some point, but not at the moment. I do hope you're joining me for that. So do click on the link in the description, get your name down on the email wait list. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been great having you here. Cast off your ribbing, you're ready to go, you're ready to start using what you've finished as well. And if you're ready to cast off, that means you will also need the weave in your ends um, video. I will put the link for that right here. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Happy knitting. <laughs>